What's up guys? So this is a quick video about some Himalayan salt lamps. I like them. I think they're awesome. I've been into them for quite some time. Recently I got a few salt lamps that are nightlight styles and I was going to show you how to clean those today. So actually this is uh, we use our larger, this is like a 15 pound lamp here, and we put that in our bathroom because it eliminates odors really fast, reduces humidity really fast, and makes a great nightlight. So for cleaning that thing, all I did, what I just did, because after being in humidity and it kind of sweats for a little while, it builds up some residue on the base on the bottom. So I just had a damp cloth. I actually used one of these damp cloths. This is the one of the kind that my wife really hates because it's like the microfiber cloths that like can grab you back kind of deal. I don't know how else to explain it besides like the tactile feeling is not very appealing, especially to my wife. So anyways, I just got this damp and then rubbed this down and got some of the loose stuff off of it. But for smaller ones, what you can do is just grab a bucket of cold water. This is actually the salt lamp, one of them, night lights. So do you see all that white stuff on there? That's a little bit of deterioration kind of deal. But really all you need to do is cold water, dunk it in there real quick, maybe give it a gentle rub with your hands and stuff. Definitely don't leave it in there because guess what? It's gonna end up being, it'll just fall apart. It'll just dissolve because it's salt, right? But this is a great way to clean them. I'll just gently kind of dab it dry and then I'll go set it in some sunshine for it to dry out and stuff. And then I'll put it back on the on the thing and get it all going. So uh, this is one of the kinds, this is like a rough crystal, more of a natural shape kind of deal for the Himalayan salt. Um, I like it. Also, that one came with this little design here for the nightlight. What I like about this is it's a little rubber grabber here that makes the salt lamp fit onto it really well. And then this is so that you can rotate it depending on how your outlet is oriented or how you want this oriented on your outlet kind of deal. Easy on off switch. And then the other one that I got, very similar. But this is more of a cylindrical one. This is still in really nice shape. And it doesn't have the lock for this. It just automatically adjusts, which my kid wants to mess with that. So maybe that's good for you because you don't have to push an extra button. Or maybe you got kids that you don't want messing with your salt lamps, which I totally understand. But anyway, so I like them both. The cool thing about this one that I bought was it came with a little LED light. So in case I didn't want the hygroscopic effects and the heat warming and the uh, reducing the humidity, I just wanted that nice glow. I could use the LED light bulb that came with it. Because I live in Colorado, it's already pretty dry climate most of the time anyways. And I also found that when I have my night lights or my salt lamps near plants, I need to take extra care of my plants, otherwise they'll start to wither and turn brown really fast. So, I don't know, because I've seen so many videos where people have their salt lamps and their plants like literally right next to each other. It just kind of blows my mind that people take better care of their plants than me, I guess, and I'm not very good at taking care of plants. But anyway, so that was a quick video, guys. Enjoy it. Go get some salt lamps. Highly suggest. I'll put these details in the description.